Hello everybody and welcome to my course Legendary Threads where we get to learn knitting in Houdini. I'm super excited to finally share this with you. As you can see on my screen here, this is what we're going to be creating. It's an effect where we kind of create this shock wave through this knit pattern. And along the way, we're going to learn about how to do patterning, how to do rewrapping of our fibers, various different knitting and weaving techniques. It's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to get into it. But I wanted to also give you a little bit of a backstory about why I even got into knitting and why I wanted to make this course in the first place. Well, the thing that I want to share with you is the first spot that I saw that got me into knitting. This is the Nike Biomorph spot that was put together by Digital Domain. Uh, back in about 2012 is when this came out and it was very inspiring for me. There was, I'd never seen anything like this and it just made me like full on want to get back into Houdini. Let's take a look at the spot and then we can talk about it a little bit more. And wow, those right there are the legendary threads. That is the level of excellence that I have been inspired to pursue in my Houdini pursuits ever since I first saw it. It's, you know, over 10 years old at this point, and it still holds up in my opinion. I find it to be one of the most like inspiring, and it's the first knit thing that I know of that kind of is doing that macro CG uh, weaving design like that. At the time I saw this, I'm like, I have got to figure out how to do this. I, I This is the thing I want to do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I looked around for information on how it was done. I do have this link here that I'll share in the video, in the bottom of the description of the video, but this is sort of a behind the scenes where they talk about how they kind of do some of this stuff, but it's all in a kind of very vague sense. There's no real like tutorial that's diving like headfirst into how to do this stuff. So I really was kind of left to my own to kind of figure out how to do this. And there really wasn't any material out there that specifically covered doing the knitting effect back, you know, 12 years ago when this came out. So I just tried a bunch of things. A lot of it didn't work. Sometimes I'd have a, a little, a couple moments of inspiration and try different things like here, for example, I've got an example of some of my first tests trying to work with doing the knits. And this is a particle system. So what you can see that the performance is really bad and it's just, sorry, it's just a, me recording my screen with my cell phone, but you can see that it's, a particle system, I think I had a pop net and these little points moving along these weave, uh, these sine waves with this weave and they're emitting particles and then I'm just tracing them, you know, just connecting the particles. And here's another angle of that, but I'm just trying to connect these particles. You can see that it gets very slow after a while <laughs> trying to think about all that stuff. But yeah, so these are like some of my very early examples trying to do it using a particle system. And then it wasn't until like later on, I started to figure things out. Uh, I took a math course, I think it was on at the time, Digital Tutors, which became Pluralsight. There was a math course that was specifically for people who were working with effects or working in Houdini. Yes, it was this one. It was this Practical Houdini Math Tips with Bo Garcia on Pluralsight. I'll include a link down below as well. And it was super uh, helpful to me because even though it didn't specifically tell me how to do the knit effect, it told me the math that I would need to know to understand and figure out how to do the knit effect on my own. And so I was able to figure it out after taking that course. And since then, I have been doing a ton of knitting stuff for my job. I have the amazing opportunity to work at Already Been Chewed where I do a ton of knitting effects for various shoe companies and various sportswear companies. So I put together a little reel of the knits that I've done there and I'm going to show that to you now.
So as you can see, I've done quite a few knits. This isn't even, that isn't even all the knits that I've done. I just grabbed a few of them and threw them together in a reel that would be 60 seconds long. But I hope you can tell that I really, really love to do this type of procedural knitting stuff. I think it's just really great. And the other thing that's really cool about it is that in my pursuit of trying to learn how to do these knits, I have learned a whole bunch of other things that have made me better at Houdini and better at CG in general. Um, when it comes to proceduralism, VEX programming, trigonometry, matrix transformations, um, managing time dependencies, managing performance optimizations. Um, all these topics on their own probably seem pretty boring or intimidating, but I feel that knitting and weaving is one of the coolest ways to bring together all this, you know, math and art into one central area and really just showcase what the beauty of computer graphics can actually be. So this is really the course that I wish existed when I got started with Houdini, when I wanted to learn how to do knits. I hope you can see that I'm just super passionate about this stuff. I'm so excited to finally share this with you. So there's just a couple things we got to do before we can get started. Just a couple housekeeping things about how to work with the project files and everything. And then we're going to be off to the races. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for checking out the free preview lesson to Legendary Threads. If you wanted to access to the full course, head over to mfxlabs.com or click the link in the description. Even if you only have beginner level Houdini knowledge, this course is designed to deliver advanced concepts in a way that everyone can follow along with chapter by chapter project files included. First, we'll cover basic theory through simple weaving and knitting examples as we build our own threading rig from scratch in VEX. Then we'll take that knowledge into the production realm by building a highly detailed knit pattern with shockwave animation that holds up in wide, medium, and close-up shots. Along the way, we'll cover a ton of critical Houdini skills from basic trigonometry to matrix animation, performance optimization, rendering, and beyond. This course also includes USD files of a shoe that I modeled and animated from scratch, ready to render in Solaris and Karma XPU that you can use in your personal projects. I am so excited to finally be able to share this knowledge with the world. Sign up now and start your Houdini weaving journey today.